What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shani, and welcome back to the Women's Palace. So today, I want to talk about forgiveness in the area of parents, right? And I was actually thinking about this because um, I had a perspective shift when I first had my son, right? I didn't have it all together, nor do I have it all together today. Every day, I'm learning. Every day, I'm growing. Every day, I'm becoming a better person, right? But I feel like as kids, we do not know what life has to offer. We don't know what life is. You know, we don't know you know we just we just put our parents on this pedestal we think of them as superheroes we think we're they're supposed to have it all together not realizing that we live in a fallen world not realizing we were born into sin not realizing what life can throw at you as we grow older we can see how life is but god really had to make me sit back and put my put myself in my parents shoes put myself in my mother and my father's shoes to see you know they didn't have it all together even though we may think we put this image in our mind as kids they're just this big superhero and you know we they are in a sense but you have to understand that they're human too they make mistakes too so sometimes we can hold our parents accountable oh well you didn't love me right and you didn't do this not realizing you don't know how they were raised growing up what if they never had love sometimes people do the best that they can but yet we still think it's not enough because it's not to our expectation we put this expectation on our parents way higher than what they are you know because they're human we are mankind the species and we live in a fallen world so it may be a season it may be something that took place that they needed to learn from. And that's what I really had to realize. God had to make me realize that how can you be mad at somebody's lesson? How are you holding somebody accountable for a lesson that they had to learn? Your parents were learning and growing too. And in the midst, living in the fallen world, you may have gotten hurt. Sometimes we take things so personal, not realizing that they're not there there is nothing personal you know we all fight things within we fight some people fight demons like you know and as kids we're not disclosed that as kids we don't know that our parents are fighting the world they don't we don't know that our parents have the weight of the world on their shoulders we just think you know they're having it all together we don't understand that they got to pay bills we don't understand that the spiritual warfare we don't understand these things so when we grow up and we just feel well you didn't love me right or you didn't do this and you didn't do that but you didn't see how they kept a roof over the, your head you didn't see how they loved you the best that they could the best that they could according to how they were raised some people don't know love so how do you expect somebody who don't know love to give you love they did the best that they could you know and god had to make me realize with my son did you have it all together you know is it do you mess up do you slip up you know and how do you think my how do you think you felt the same way yo the way my son feels about me he feel like I'm his world. He probably he thinks of me as his superhero, not even knowing that it's days I go to sleep and I don't even know what I'm gonna do. It's days where I have it's days where I have to look to God, like God, get me through this. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this without you. You know, he's dependent on me and I'm de dependent on a higher source. You know, and I say this to forgive your parents because um, it was this one situation where it was this woman, she was 60 plus, and she was just going on and on and on about how her mother destroyed her life and this and this and that. And something just clicked in me. How long? How long are you going to hold your parents accountable for something they had to learn from? You have to be able to pick yourself up and understand that life is hard. Life is not always fair. Is that to say, oh, you shouldn't be mad? That's not, I'm, I'm not telling you how to feel, but I'm telling you, you got to get to a point in your life where you have to let go of that hurt and understand that we are only human. Nobody is perfect. Only Jesus is. Only God is. So in that sense, you have to get to a point in your life when you stop expecting. See, it's the expectation that let us down. Like I said, as kids, we put this our parents on this high pedestal because we don't know life. We don't know mankind. We don't know human. But as you get older, and this is where God is making me realize compassion. Have compassion because you don't understand. I, I can only imagine. My mama had two kids. I only got one. Baby, I give her her flowers. I'm not sitting here saying my life was the best. I'm not sitting here saying she, she did the best that she could. And I'm grateful for that. 
how can you be mad at somebody when they did the best that they could they did the best that they couldn't even if they did the bare minimum even if you feel like they didn't do good enough guess what you don't know how they were raised we don't know people's trials we don't know people's trials and tribulations we don't know the battles people fight within themselves we don't know all we know is what we present to the world and if you know anything about the world nowadays people present a character people don't show you what they really face we live in a world where people want to make it seem like it's picture perfect when that is a lie we live in a fallen sinful world nothing's perfect everybody is going through something whether they want to admit it or not and i say that because you got to be able to get to a point where you forgive and understand hey i may not had love growing up i may have not you know had in the best situation growing up my, my parents may have not did what i thought they should have did but guess what they did the best that they could so guess what moving forward i gotta let go because if not i'm just continuing the cycle so we get so caught up on what other people did to us not realizing if you don't fix that hurt if you don't fix that guess what you are doing you are continuing the cycle whether you realize it or not see a lot of things are subconsciously we don't con we're not consciously aware of it because we're so focused on oh they don't deserve to be in my presence they don't deserve they don't deserve and i don't care i'm gonna feel how i feel not realizing you only hurting yourself because you got to realize what what unforgiveness do to you. I said this in my other video. Everybody say God forgive. I don't baby news flash. God it's you got to understand. God said I will forgive you if you forgive others. See people forget that part. They always just think oh God forgive. He said he forgive if you forgive. You got to be able to realize that. Everybody want to take the scriptures and chop it and screw it and take what they want to take. They take what they want to apply to their life. God forgive. I don't. No, 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 no. He said he'll forgive you if you forgive others. So if you are out here holding on to unforgiveness, what are you sowing? Unforgiveness. What are you reaping? Unforgiveness. God not forgiving you. You got to lend what God gives you. That's why he says, I give mercy, give mercy to others. I give compassion, give compassion to others. What God is giving you, he's expecting you to lend it out to others because he did it unto you. So why can't you do it for somebody else? It was a scripture. It was a story in the Bible where Jesus, you know, I think these were one of the parables when he was like, you know, uh, forgive me. I can't. Um, he had uh, borrowed some money or he couldn't he couldn't pay back the money. Right. And um, basically, Jesus was like okay i'll forgive you your debt and then the man went out and the man went out and he tried to get somebody else like somebody else owed him some money so he was like give me the money and he was like just uh have compassion wait wait he was like no i'm not you know and then jesus went back and was like you wicked like you gotta give out what god gives you if god gives you forgiveness give others forgiveness because because life is hard life is hard and so many times we live in this selfish world where everybody thinks about me 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 but you got to understand god god gave you got to be selfless in this thing the measure you give out is going to be measured back unto you what are you giving out i'm not sitting here saying that what they did was right i'm not sitting here saying you don't have the right to be mad i'm not saying that but what i am saying you got to get to a point in your life where you accept what was handed to you make peace with your past and forgive and move forward and let it go because life is hard we put this expectation on things we put this expectation on people not realizing what life is and how life goes and you got to be able to get to a point in your life where you put yourself in people's shoes you know what i don't understand why i couldn't live the life that i wanted i can't understand why my mama or my daddy couldn't give me what i needed but guess what i gotta know that everything works out for my good and at the end of the day i may not have gotten what i needed back then but i know if i heal myself and i become whole i can get what i need now i can give out so i can receive back let it go i it would ju it just really like that situation in that scenario god speaks through anything like one thing do not limit god 
do not limit God on how he can speak to you because God spoke so clearly. Like how long? This lady is 60 plus years old and she is still holding on to something. And her mama, I don't know if her mama was dead. I don't know. But you got to get to a point in your life. How long? How long? God said, I came. Jesus said, I came to give you life and have it more abundantly. And if we was already alive in the flesh, you got to know that he came to give you life within. You got to let go. You got to heal. You got to become whole. And the first step is forgiving. A lot of people are stuck and stagnant because of unforgiveness. They don't deserve it. It's not for them. It's for you. You hold up your blessings. You hold up your breakthroughs. You hold up your miracles. I talk a little bit about this in my academy on forgiveness when you are sitting in a state of unforgiveness you are looking at the world in a tainted view you do not see life for what it is because you are holding on to something your body is contaminated your soul is contaminated because it's holding on to this bitterness this unresent this resentfulness this unforgiveness you are tainted you are looking at a world from a tainted perspective let it go we are living we are learning we are not perfect stop the only high expectation you should have is on God. Jesus, baby. That's the hardest pill I had to swallow was God telling me everybody will fail you. Why? Because we are human. Nobody's perfect. And guess what? We're going to flip. We're going to mess up. We're going to do things we never intended to do. But guess what? It's still going to hurt somebody because we're human. Stop putting this high expectation on a human being that's not perfect, that has to go through life, that has to go through trials, that has to go through tribulations, that has to live, that has to learn and become better. I really just wanted to touch on this subject because you have to understand, you have to forgive in order to get forgiveness. Don't hold on to that. Put yourself in somebody else's shoes, even if it's not the case. Forgiveness is for self. You do not want to be in your latter part of your years still holding on to bitter fruit can't even get no good fruit in your life because you thinking somebody else is the reason why your life is messed up when it's really you life is life is what it's gonna be you gotta take the cards that was handed to you and baby make them work you gotta get you <laughs> life give you lemons baby make lemonade take what's handed to you and flip it Stop trying to stop getting caught up on what was handed to you and make it work with what you got. It's one thing I had to realize. I got to stop complaining. We waste our time on complaining about what was handed to us instead of taking what was handed to us and making the best out of it. One thing I had to realize, God is not going to put you God is not going to put you through more than what you can bear. If you got handed those cards, baby, you can work them cards. It's in you. It's something in you that can make them cards work for your good in the end. But it all starts with you. Let it go. Give out compassion to receive compassion. Give out forgiveness to receive forgiveness. Okay? So go out and be a light in this dark world.